Okay, so to start things off, let's go over our entries to get into the X Guard, okay? Um, you know, there's so many different possibilities, ways to get inside, get underneath, and get into the X Guard. Uh, I really want to just kind of stick with my favorites, but also talk to you about the concepts of getting inside so you can kind of figure out um, your own ways and, you know, um, innovations on getting in, into the X Guard depending on what your game is, all right? So, you know, really what it's all about is, actually go ahead, Stan, is for me just to get, you know, one leg behind him, okay, one leg extended between his legs, and the other one, you know, with my knee tight to my chest, uh, you know, in between his legs here. So I'm in, inside the space between his legs with one leg extended and one leg bent, all right? This is really the key for me just to open up and find this space, all right? Once I get under, then I can work my, my arm all the way in, and then this second leg can go into a number of different places depending on what style X guard I wanna play, okay? So that's really what it's all about. It's just getting in, in between his legs, basically, all right? And you know, there's lots of different ways to do that. Like I said, I wanna just kinda of take you through some of my strongest ways, um, but uh, you know, talk to you about the concepts so you can find your own ways, all right? So that's the basic idea right there. Uh, one of the best ways to do this is with hook sweeps, okay? So let's say Professor Raider was on his knees, you know, and I'm playing like a butterfly guard, all right? Old school style, you know, uh, my right leg is up here as a hook, I have my right hand into the, around his body here into the belt, my grip here. And this is always gonna open up that space because for sure he's gonna post his leg up to base against the sweep, all right? So if I try to do it for a hook sweep here, he's definitely gonna post his leg to avoid getting swept, all right? Now my hook is already inside uh, of the other leg, so all I need to do is use my, my other leg um, to help me scoot under, okay? This is very important. I don't wanna just reach for his leg and try to pull him into the X card, all right? This is always gonna be a lot more work, a lot more weight, and uh, give him a chance to, to shut it down before I can get in, okay? So my other leg here, I'm always gonna pull myself under into the X guard as I hook the leg, scooting my hip under, and now I can use this hand to pose and defend with and start to put, put in my full X guard here and get to work, okay? So, you know, I'm not gonna go over all the different style hook sweeps and ways to do the hook sweep, just kinda wanna give you the basics here so you understand you know, how to find the ways in, all right? A lot of times I like to play with the hand and the collar with my butterfly, okay? I love this a lot for the face plants and the ability to attack his neck and things like that. This was another you know, uh, style, that we, uh, style guard here that we looked at inside the Guard Mastery series, okay? And this is another great way to set up your hook sweeps, all right? I can get control of his sleeve, use the hand and the collar to pull him forward, and start to threaten him with hook sweeps here to make him base, all right? Once that leg is up, now I can start to, you know, underhook, scoot my way in, and get into, you know, my X guard position, okay? So, basically, you know, what I'm saying is, hook sweeps are always gonna open up that space because he's gonna have to post his leg. And then from there, we have plenty of room to work our way under, all right? Uh, always think about, you know, the, the lifting and the scooting, okay? Getting him light by lifting him with the hook, all right? And then once he bases, using my foot to scoop me in as I underhook his leg and start to push him away to get into the full X guard, all right? And you know, there's so many different ways to use your hooks. Maybe you like to play half guard. You know, I could be uh, playing a half guard here. You know, half guard game using my underhook. I can always scoop and put a butterfly hook in, okay? And then start to work the sweep and scoot inside into an X guard position, all right? So whether you're doing more of a, of a traditional butterfly, hand in the collar butterfly, you know, half guard with a butterfly, basically the butterfly hook, you know, sweep itself, the basic sweep is always gonna open up an entry into the X guard position, all right? And that's really kind of like the simplest way to get in. 
Um, now I'm going to go over a few more advanced uh, ways to get into the, to the X-Guard position, and then we'll start to talk about offense from there.